let's get started. I've got a new Godot project here, which I've created in Godot 4.3. You're gonna to want to go to itch.io and find these sprites called Smooky Shmup Mega Pack by Phantom Cooper. You're gonna to want to extract those files into the folder and then drag them into your assets folder in Godot. Get all of those, bring them in. Now, first thing we're going to do is create the player. This is going to be a character body. The character body is going to have a collision shape. Clicking back on the character body, it's going to have an animated sprite. The collision shape is going to have a circle shape. I'm going to zoom in. The animated sprite is going to have a new animation sprite frames. And down the bottom, we're going to import the assets horror game player one and it's three across four down i'm going to pick the top guy and add these frames we're going to go project project settings chain type filter at the top i'm going to change this to nearest click ok i'm going to change this to player i'm going to hit Control s to save this we're going to make a new folder where's the new folder button there it is scenes and this is going to be called player.tscn. We're going to add some code to this. Here's the player button. We're not going to use that template there. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to have a variable at export var speed equals 500 is 100. Funk underscore process. And this is going to be var move equals get vector left right up yeah if move velocity equals move times speed input dot get vector and then move and slide if we run our scene, project, project settings, set up your input map, left, right, up, down, put those in, left is going to be left, right is going to be right, set up your up, down, hit play, we should be able to move our player around the scene at the top, there's one last thing, else, velocity equals vector 2.0. There's our player movement done. Next video, we will add the background.